When people ask me what my favourite album is, I have so many answers. It usually depends what kind of mood I'm in or what I feel like listening to at the time. But if you were to ask me what is an album that would be impossible to improve, an album with no filler, no weakness, I think I'd have to say Asia by Steely Dan. The musicians are amazing, every track is incredible and each one is perfectly produced. But not only that, with some other albums it's easy to put this perfection down to the genius of the musicians, creativity and authenticity. But Asia is not like that, it's intentionally perfect in a way that no other album is. The album was released in 1977, and it was Steely Dan's sixth album. But unlike most other bands, which would normally consist of a drummer, guitarist, singer, whatever, in Steely Dan, Fagan and Becker would write the songs, and then when it came to record them, they'd bring in other musicians. And not just any musician, but some of the best session players in the world. Donald Fagan did provide the lead vocals and some keyboard work, and Walter Becker did play some guitar, but mostly they get other musicians for the recordings. Now this isn't actually that common, normally if a band needs a guitar solo, they get their guitarist to play that solo. But in Steely Dan, they went out and found just the right person to get the perfect solo. And if that person couldn't do it, they'd find someone else until they got it just right. A great example of this is on the song Peg. In this clip you'll hear two guitar solos, one is an early one that didn't make the cut, and the second one is the one that actually made it on the record. The first one is fine, it sounds good, but it's not perfect, it's not quite right. I think it took nine takes until they got the right take. And this illustrates this intentional perfection. One of the biggest misconceptions about genius is that it's some kind of gift that some people just happen to be born with. People say the Beatles were genius, but from watching their Get Back documentary, it's clear to see that it's not just a gift. Creating something great requires so many hours of hard work and that dedication to keep going until you get it right. But a perfect recording would be nothing if the arrangements aren't right. Every instrument you can hear is given space. Nothing gets in the way of anything else. And for an album like Asia, which is so deeply rooted in jazz, so many intricate harmonies and so many different levels of instrumentation, it's really important that the arrangements give space to each instrument. If not, nothing will blend well together. Everything will be competing for the same frequencies and you'll get this very muddy sound that not even the best engineers will be able to clean up. Listen to the opening of Black Cow. The clav is panned hard right, but the reverb is actually panned only on the left. And the guitar is panned only on the left, but the reverb for that is only on the right. By doing this, they've created this clarity, this crystal clear sound. But by still having that reverb, you still get that sense of some kind of space. But perhaps the most important thing and what Steely Dan are best known for are the musicians playing on the songs. I've spoken about the recording process and the arrangements, but these are both ultimately there to serve the musicians, to let them shine through and to communicate their playing in the purest way possible. And this is what I love about Asia, you can really hear and really feel the musicianship. I think the best example of this is on the title track, and it's found in one of Steve Gadd's solos. If you listen carefully, you can hear that stick click. It's such a tiny detail, but it's a great example of how the musicianship was allowed to shine through. This album came out in 1977, and back then they didn't have the same technology that we have today. Everything was recorded in analogue, and it's hard to think of many albums back then that would have allowed this clarity of the musicianship to really come through on the recording. You may have seen one of my earlier videos on how perfection is lots of little things done well. Asia is not the type of album where you'd say, oh it's got that amazing hit song or that amazing guitar solo. Instead, it consists of thousands of tiny little decisions done well. 
It's that attention to detail, which means it's very hard to find anything to improve or anything that needs to be changed. Sure, it may not have that one big hit that people are sometimes looking for, but this album as a whole is a complete masterpiece. And it's not some coincidental gift of talent. Instead, it's hours and hours of work spent on writing, recording, and arranging, which ultimately serve this purpose of allowing the musicianship to shine through. That's what makes a piece of music really great.